When I first read the script, it seemed um, so much more like she was really um, mercenary and she wanted to, you know, get a story. And then when you work with actors, things develop, especially when you're working in the way that we're working, like improvisation and rewriting a lot of the material together. And so I suppose when me and Chisad started working on it, things developed because we had a naturally good relationship. Um, and so like the like amorous feelings came naturally because we were saying amorous things to each other and we had a good connection. Um, and then it was interesting him leaving and going to Cyprus because he felt really far away. And I think for me, like the reality of what the situation was and having some distance from him instead of like seeing him around um, was was really good and really important and sort of really allowed me to understand that this she's very much you know a reporter who's hungry and wants the story it's really complex to play and it's been because and also each take has been different you know um, and the way Timor works and the way that me and Shazad like to work we're just constantly feeding off each other and like you know which is good it means that uh, I hope it's going to be fresh and real I think that's the thing that we've wanted to, the, the the main thing that we wanted to get is like reality and human connection it was just a completely different way of working and of of actually doing all the technical stuff that in, in a normal job you don't you know you know you, you you're playing on a computer, you're playing, I'm, I'm typing stuff into a computer, but this, but this you are, you know, and you're really finding, you're really watching the videos, which does inform you, but also puts a whole other added layer of stress because you do have to get it in a certain amount of time so that it's not boring, you know, and you're not watching someone ill-equipped to deal with a computer. <laughs> All the research that I did for this job, which was ample because I really didn't know much about um, the whole conflict. And I didn't, um, even though we are finding out about it as an audience through the eyes of Amy, you know, Anna is a, is a real woman, you know, she's a true life character. And so she was an intelligent reporter. And so I wanted to know all about that. Um, what was what was fascinating was finding out about you know just how different how how different journalism is now that there's so many like there's so much citizen journalism you know that we rely so much on Twitter for all of these things that happen all over the world people are just taking pictures of them and uploading them on Twitter and you know hashtagging whatever so you can just go on social media and Google a hashtag and you come up with all of these stories from all over the world which I think is innovative and amazing but. I find this particular story frightening and it's still happening, you know, and it's frightening that young girls or anyone are, are being groomed from their bedrooms or their homes and their parents don't know it and it can all just happen on this little box. I love him. I would work with him again in a flash. I'd do all my movies with Timor. He's just so, um, he's so collaborative and open and really you know he's an artist he really wants to create beautiful honest work and when you it's rare that you get a job like that where everyone's really wanting to make something you know everyone's worked so hard on this project and we're all working really crazy long hours and we're all just really wanting it to be good and you get that and energy from the director and that's what Timo does he really He's never stressed and he laughs and he's very warm and he'll, you know, he was really good at, at being collaborative with me and Shazad. That was one of the challenges was you don't have someone's body and their eyes and their energy and the way they shift in their chair and, the, you know, to affect what you know they're feeling, you know. You, you just have their pixelated often shaky face on a on a laptop so it's quite difficult to really be reading what's happening all the time 
me and Jazad were saying, we're lucky that we both are good with lines. <laughs> we had like 19 pages sometimes of just, and I, and I was saying with Timur, like it was like a play, you know, we, you know, we rehearsed it and then we did it in eight days and there was just epic amounts of dialogue every single day. It was like a play. We should do it as a play, I think. It would be amazing. In this film, I'm playing a character called Abu Bilawa Bertani, who is the other lead character. Um, and he's a real life jihadi, and he falls in love with Valine's character. And it's very strange to be playing someone here who's done very horrible things, and you can see verbatim for what they've, what they've said and done. And, but the love story is almost the focus, which is a very interesting take on, on this kind of story. There are very beautiful things that you can do in Syria. You know, and then he shows them him at the beach, him eating pizza with his friends or, you know, he has a lot of freedom because he's high up in the ranks. So he tries to show a positive side to it, but obviously he's hiding a lot of the horrible things, a lot of the sex slavery, the oppression that gets hidden. So he's, he's more of a seducer. It's a very intense relationship over a very short period of time, which is what's interesting. And because you can see what they said to each other, it's a very, strange how quickly their relationship develops even though you know she's got a boyfriend at home but the, their relationship is very at times very sweet at times very horrible and very crude and very uh, vulgar and very um and very intense and very fast i've never worked in this way before i'm not really i'm sort of you know in real life i don't have uh, you know i have this kind of phone so it's it, to get my hands around and head around using iPhones, all that kind of stuff was very it's, it's new to me. But, um, um, but to film everything like this is very exciting because it just cuts down a lot of time. But the focus can be just on just on the acting, really, because you don't have to worry about, oh, we're doing it from this side, we're doing this and then. It's literally just what you do in real life. So it's a, it's a very free, I, for me, it freed me up a lot. So as an actor, it's nice because you're relaxed and um, you can just focus on your characters and what you need to say to each other. Very nice way of working, actually. I'd do it again. I'm an old soul. So for me, the way internet and social media is used today is a very scary thing. Obviously, there's very, very positive things that, that can happen with social media, but also I feel we're losing a bit of our... We're losing our minds, especially our children's minds are getting smaller, even though it opens a lot of the world, social media. So I feel like we have to be careful with it. and. It can be, a, you know, it depends who's using it and the intentions, what, uh, what the intentions are behind it, but it can be used for good or bad. But when it's used for bad, it's very depressing, very sad and very upsetting. So it's a good story to tell. Timur is a legend. I love working with Timur. Um, he's a very, because he's so confident in his own skills and his own, he made me feel confident in my own skills because he was very relaxed. That relaxes you. And I, I love working with directors who know what they're doing. And, and so it just... It gives you a lot of freedom and you don't worry as much about things and there's no like, this is right, this is right, this is right. It's like he was trusts in what you do and then, then it opens you up. Good man. Overall experience is an experience I never have because it was such a short, short space of time. We filmed the whole movie in like eight days, which is, I think that beats like the phone booth record. I'm sure phone booth was filmed in like 10 days or, so it's a crazy time to, you know, just to get a whole a whole feature film done. Um, filming in a very beautiful place, filming lovely scenes, and then realizing, you know, the whole story is this incredibly weird, true story that is very horrible. And overall, a beautifully weird experience. I hope they just see this, this story. I mean, because this is a very strange story. If you read the book as well, it's a very, it's not just, you know, there's going to be lots soon, obviously, stories about Aleppo and Syria, all that stuff's coming out now. So. This take is more of a love story and told in a, a very strange way. So it's, it's, it's something I don't think people have seen before. So, you know, it's a good project to see. First, I found an article about this story. And then in this article, there was a, there was a link to the book. And, uh, and I read the book and I'm constantly looking for uh, for this kind of story. The stories happened on computer screen uh, because it's our uh, 
strategic uh, strategic direction. Uh, we, I believe that uh, screen reality, how it's, how we call it, screen reality stories will be more and more more and more relatable for the audience and uh, attract attractive for the audience because we we are we live in 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 in, in, in screen life, in screen world in screen reality uh, like like now we're talking over Skype. Uh, and um, and it's it's everyday life for us. It's not it's not it's not, it's not unique. Just like in spy stories, I I was in there. I, I rented the room in in, in the small hotel, and her lawyer arrived first, and she checked who <laughs> is how real I am. It's really like. Filmmaker, and then she called Anna, and she and then came, and, and unexpectedly, I met unbelievably in, intelligent and uh, and very like very relatable for me. She 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 was exactly the book represents her very well. She is exactly the. She wrote the the the, 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 the honest this the story is very honest and um, and we spent four hours like smoking and talk, talk, talking about uh, about her backstory what's happened and how it's happened and about her life and about my life and and it it was very important this game between them it would would help to raise stakes and to create. This very strong feelings because both of them kind of knew that they are lying to each other, and uh, both of them uh, couldn't stop because they they like each other, and uh, they couldn't they 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 cannot lose each other because they are both lonely. It is very scary love story. We can you can say that it's Stockholm syndrome. Uh, Yes, it is. Uh, but at the same time, she she was free to to delete his account any minute. But she continued, and uh, and it's not because of. I think it's not because of her business, because she was really seduced uh, uh, and involved and. Uh, and it's interesting that he had the same he he had the same feeling, the same situation. It's a very difficult question because maybe it is real who we are, and our 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 how we live, how we behave in physical world. Maybe this is a lie because because there is more reasons to lie for us in 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 in, in real life because it's. Uh, there are a lot of con con consequences, you know, and we wearing masks in real life, and in the internet we can be ourselves. It is exactly what it is in our movie. She's she's lying to herself, and she li she she leaves very uh, uh, very weird life, you know, as a journalist and, and in London, but. In the internet, she suddenly found herself. This story is quite unique because the reality and 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 uh, and uh, fictionalized storytelling is very uh, interweaved, you know. And uh, but it's 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 true. It's 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 happened. It's happened two years ago, and I saw the screens. She, she, she. At one, at some point, you know, one, one, when we met, she, she, uh, she, she, she presented the the real screens because we recreated the whole her desktop, her files. We recreated everything, but uh, but uh, first time in my life, I saw, I saw the 
I had a chance to see the uh, the real screen, and I had a chance to see the real characters and the real conversation, how it's happened. It was very interesting. It was very important for casting, for for design of the movie, for uh, the storytelling. The casting process was very different too, because I decided to cast actors without seeing, without meeting them in person, because uh, because audience will see them, will see them on the screen, and and I I decided that I need to to keep this filter, just to be able to understand what will be on the screen. And uh, and uh, we we had a uh, two months, more than two months of casting when actress. Uh, I spoke with actress like 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 now, over Skype, and uh, and then location scouting was also <clears throat> done virtually because uh, uh, I was in Moscow and our uh, location manager was in London. And another location manager was in Cyprus, and uh, and we everything what we did was was um, was done by Skype. Funny story happened with uh, uh, with the directors guild because what what I learned that the director what they what I was told by our lawyers that. I, as a director, as a member of the Directors Guild, I cannot, uh, uh, I should make it, when I make a move, make a, making movie, I should be on the, on the set. And uh, nobody can direct if I'm not without me. Uh, uh, and, uh, and I couldn't, I, and then we learned that I cannot be in Cyprus and in London at the same time. Because we, we 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 shot simultaneously in two places, and uh, and we we wrote them them the letter, explaining sorry, but we 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 have a unique case. We are making uh, uh, our set is not hundred feet long. It's uh, uh, our set is thousands of miles big because uh, it's from London to Cyprus. And and uh, I need a, my, uh, my uh, uh, second unit director to be in Cyprus to be able to shoot the scene. Finally, they agree and they said, "Sorry, it's new. It's new uh, technology. We understand, and you can you can you can make the movie like that." It's still very new language, film language, and people. Uh, so pr- first of all, people very audience very surprised that the story can be told uh, by computer screens, by the images on the screen, and, and it's so impressive, so if, so new that of course the story, uh, story, it, story, it's influence, it's influencing the whole process of of, of uh, the. Um, Interacting with the story, but uh, I what I what we learn that uh, in a five minutes, like it, it just it, it people think about it only the first three five minutes, then then they're just following the story and characters. I screened the movie for very different people, for uh, friends, for colleagues. Uh, uh, we screened this movie for uh, for Anna, uh, the author of this book and uh, and the hero of the movie, and it was most uh, scariest probably screening in, in in my life because because uh, if she will say no, I don't think it's right, then we we fact we we cannot believe the movie because it's her story. She should to prove it. And uh, she 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 said, "Oh, it's good, fine, and great." And then a uh, few hours later, I was on a train, and she sent me uh, 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 she sent me the uh, text message saying, I, "I don't know how you got into my head." 
it, it's it's a greatest comments I ever got. We're developing the new type of filmmaking. We're developing new language, new way of acting, maybe new way of, because our actors are cameramen. But they are they they should learn how to manipulate with the like like now. Like if I'm if I'm with the computer I, they should learn how to uh, how to it's like they're making selfie. You know, it's, it's a selfie movie because they, 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 they the camera is in their hands in, the, in, in their hands, and uh, and it's a whole the whole new uh, uh, like a, a, a whole new process because if they will be too perfect and if they will think about uh, composition, then it will look fake. If they will not think about composition, then it's some, the whole movie will be like that, you know, like you will see the piece of me and and, uh, and the event will happen out of, you know, out of thing. Editing is very different because to be able to cut this movie, we're developing softwares, new softwares, because there is no tools. To cut these movies because uh, uh, because when, when the whole movie uh, story takes place on the computer screen on the screen then you need you you first of all you should record properly you should record not only my face not only the face of the actor but also the uh, uh, his screen because it's 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 the only way when you can create this unique feeling this reality because you see my face. On the screen, and at the same time, you see my mouse, you see what I'm doing, and my reactions. It's not only I'm not reacting only on the on the character I'm talking to. I'm reacting on every uh, event happening on my screen. And to be able to manipulate and to do it, we we invented the uh, software to record uh, uh, to record actor and the screen at the same time, and to be and record not as a video like this picture this uh, the, the screen recorded not as a as a screencast it's recorded as a screencast with the with the possibility to change layers every object on the screen is a separate layer and you can later you can adjust pre-production process for example it's very funny because pre-production for us like traditionally uh, uh, filmmakers building sets yeah, and we are not just building sets. We are building uh, screens because we need to create everything what will be on the screen of the character of our character characters. Yeah, like for example, you need to create folders. You need to create the the uh, the composition, how it's placed on the screen. You need to create the uh, the, the the color of the screen. I think it's so organic. For us, it's very different as a, for us as a filmmakers, but it's so organic for us as a as a, as a, as, as a uh, people living in 21st century that it was very fast. Like it, it was maybe what like first day was 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 because we had a test also, and the crew they learn everything, and actors learn everything. It was absolutely smooth. Surprisingly smooth and uh, and and uh, and exciting. The process itself. There was no there was no dramas because it's a very new language. For Get Out, Tiffany Haddish turned down Jordan Peele's offer to audition for the film because she refuses to be in scary movies. Haddish had worked with the writer-director before, so he sent her the script and asked her to audition for the movie. Her response was pretty simple. I don't do scary movies, dog. I don't do that. You know that's demonised kind of stuff, and I don't let that in my house. I don't want to get no curses. People already curse me out enough as it is. Hmm. Do you like my shirt? I'll get one for your link in the description.